Hi everybody, I'm Cuban Taurus. And as you can see, I'm super happy right now because I got more 200 subscribers. I'm so happy to say that. Like you guys, I've seen my channel go from zero to 200 in a couple months. Yeah, it took me a couple months, I know. And it just makes me really happy because it means my channel's growing and it's like... I don't know, it just makes me really happy. Like, I really, I when I started my YouTube, I really thought nobody was going to support me because I'm like, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to do? Like, there's so many things I personally, like, love, but what if you guys don't? And it's just, it just made me really happy to see, like, wow, 200 subscribers. I know that's a little bit to some people, but it means a lot to me. So, I thank everybody who's been supporting me. Love you guys. I hope you guys continue to support me and more people start to support me because this really means a lot to me and it's going to help me in the future with what I want to do as a career. And, you know, I'm just so amped up for you guys' support and for you guys to see everything that I'm, that I'm so excited to do with this channel and, you know, the platform that I'm trying to create for myself in the future. So, for this video, I was going to talk about what I'm planning to do in the future with my channel. And I wanted to give a little shout out to the LGBT community and talk about my sexuality since it's Pride Month. And I love the LGBT community. And I also wanted to talk to you guys about something really serious that happened recently that was really hurtful to my heart. So... Here it goes. But first, let's talk about what I want to do with this channel. What are my plans for this channel going forward? Right now, I am having a lot of shit going on, bitch. Like, it's tough. A girl got a lot of bullshit going on. Um, I, I'm trying to finish school. Like, you know, I'm 20 years old. I've been all over the place of school due to like my personal problems anyways my plans for this channel are to continue to do you know makeup tutorials i am really passionate about makeup i'm sorry i haven't done much about it because you know makeup is very time consuming and i swear to god my free time is like two hours and the rest of it, I'm trying to catch up on sleep that I don't get during the week. So, I am going to continue to try to do makeup tutorials. And I just like to talk about anything. Like, I'm I'm very open to talk about anything. I'm a very open-minded person. So, if you guys have suggest suggestions, because my Spanish ass doesn't know how to talk. Um let me know because you know i'm willing to discuss anything i do have a lot of stories to tell my life has been very crazy like i said so i'm still planning to do everything that i initially wanted to do the only difference now is that i'm trying to involve what i want to do with my life in videos because Can y'all just shut the fuck up? I'm trying to make a video. The fuck? Oh my god. Anyways, like I was motherfucking saying before my family decided to yell about bathroom problems. The only thing new right now that I want to involve in my channel is clothing because... I do really want to do fashion. Like my own clothing line. Because that is something that I want to do after high school. Go to fashion school. So I'm really putting my ideas together for my clothing line. And I hope you guys support that. Because I'm going to be, you know, 
promoting it a lot on my channel once I get everything straightened out. Now, the second thing I wanted to discuss because it's Pride Month and I love the LGBT community so much. You guys mean everything to me because I really, like, you don't understand, I love people. Like, I love, love, love the LGBT community people. Like, they're so awesome. They're all so fun to be around. And, you know, like... Your girl's a little curious too, like you know. I've I've been with girls before. I've kissed girls. I've done stuff with girls. I've dated girls. So I would consider myself bisexual. I feel like I've always expressed that, like very like. I don't know. I feel like I've always been very open about it because. Everybody knows, like, I used to get yelled at when I was younger about my friends from how, like, close I'd be to them and stuff. So, I just feel like that's always been something that's, like, very expressive, that I like girls and guys. But I've mostly dated boys, maybe just because I'm scared to have to deal with the same emotions that a girl has like I do because I don't even know how to deal with my own, so... You know, I feel like with a girl, like, you know, they're they're more knowledgeable about how I feel. And, like, they know more stuff than guys do. They understand more, so that scares me, like, you know, because I don't even understand myself. So I feel like a girl would understand me. So it's always freaked me out, like, to actually have a relationship with a girl. But I have been in a relationship with a girl, and she was, like, one of the best people people I've ever met in my life but you know like I've always been really scared of something serious whether like whether I like to admit it or not even with guys like I'm super terrified of an actual relationship just because I feel like like you know like I have so much going on with myself as a person that it like I'm just gonna get attached and like tell this person my whole life which I have done and it's just gonna go to hell and I'm gonna fall apart and I feel like a female would understand me way more than a guy does so it just freaks me out that I might fall in love with a girl and she might leave me and she will know me like the back of her hand like it freaks me out but I do I do really like I do really like females and I do really like guys I've had plenty of crushes on girls and like all that jittery feelings you feel when you like somebody I felt them for girls so I do consider myself bisexual because I do feel those type of feelings for females too but like I said I've always been really scared of relationships in general like Like, I've barely even been with a guy, seriously, so, like, listen. But, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys my sexuality to to celebrate Pride Month. Oh my God, why is these children crying? Like, mommy. She couldn't cry another time for her mother like I do hope you guys have a very very wonderful June and celebrate all the wonderful LGBT people around you because they are awesome and they deserve this month after all the bullshit life has given them so I love this month like you guys don't understand like it just makes me so happy to see all the different type of people there are in the world celebrate themselves and be themselves and like you know have genuine love like feel love like I feel like June is like love month because it's like you know doesn't matter what you look like who you are or what you feel nothing it doesn't matter as long as love is love and it's genuine and you mean it and you're giving it 
for a good reason. You're not being, you know, nothing is out of hate. Everything is out of love. And that's why I really love Pride Month. Now, I also wanted to talk about X's death. Like, you guys, that news broke my heart. Like, at first, I was like... I was like, X is dead. Like, come on. We've heard this before. Like, please, he's not dead. But it got serious, and I started to read stories, and I read the police report, and seen videos and everything, and I bursted into tears. Like, you guys don't understand how much this, this boy, like, I... Oh my god, I can't even talk about it right now. I feel like my eyes are getting watery. But I like while I was dealing with depression the last couple months ago and I was going through suicidal things, I listened to X every day, every night when I woke up, when I went to sleep, when I did anything. Like that's all I listen to that's all I listen to that's all I listen to like it it broke my fucking heart that he like he's gone like that I I can't even like I don't even know how to explain to you guys what the hell went on in my heart like I felt like my whole world fell apart again and I was like oh Oh, hey, I just got very emotional. I can't even talk about this right now, so I'll make it short. But I want to get my tattoo dedicated to him soon. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're so stupid. Like, why would you get a tattoo about somebody you don't even know? I'm blah, blah, blah. But it's like, you guys don't understand how influential music is and how... And how like how like therapeutic music can be how like how how much of your life music is revolved around like music is life music music is everything is like I it hit me really really hard and I do hope I get the tattoo soon I was supposed to get it today but Things happened. Today was a really long day. A lot of bullshit was going on. So I ended up not being able to go. But I really do hope to get it soon. Because I've never. Like if you know me personally. I love Childish Gambino very much. But I don't think I've ever felt the way I feel about a celebrity. The way I do for X. Like this shit just really hurt because I felt like he was like depression and suicide and like all these kids that are hurt out there that feel this type of pain that you know are going through this every day and dealing with this type of stuff like I was one of those people too like he was such a role model for those things there isn't another person that I know of that speaks about these things that was so open and vocal about depression and mental illness and suicide. Like, you know, so so he was like such a close person to my heart since the day I heard about him. And this is a really big loss for me and for the world because us suicidal depressed kids who grew up that way just lost someone very big to us very like comforting to us and you know it hurts it really does like trying my hardest to talk about it and it's making me like <laughs> really want to send my love to everybody who's depressed or suicidal like I'm here with you guys and I know this death hurts because he was he was trying to help us he was trying to get us out of a dark place and no despite all the things that 
people said about him that people knew about him things that he did like he was still young he made mistakes but he was trying his hardest for us and i'm really really sorry that he's gone it hurts me so much so rest in peace to x we will all continue to love him and listen to his music and try to be our best and love ourselves for him because you know that's all he wanted out of us to make this a little bit more like heartwarming and not so sad because i know he don't want us to be sad thank you for watching me thank you for the 200 subscribers i love you guys so much i can't wait for my channel to keep growing i can't wait to continue to do more stuff for you guys uh, so it's like you guys don't understand i appreciate you guys so freaking much and i really hope my channel keep growing i can't wait to do big things big 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 things big things for you guys so comment share like subscribe you know post notifications like support me i'll support you <laughs> peace